And that is our top story tonight. Shelby County health experts aren't sugarcoating their growing concern about the fall surge with near record highs for new cases as well as hospitalizations. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom and I'm Katina Rankin. The troubling trends shine a new spotlight on the risk of more people getting sick from Thanksgiving gatherings and the growing calls to limit that meal to no more than your immediate family. Here's local 24 news reporter Brad Broders. This reminds me of what it was like right before we blew up in July. As COVID-19 cases surged throughout the fall in Shelby County, concerns are intensifying among local health experts. I'm worried that this is going to be exponentially much worse because we're starting at a higher level of baseline cases. With Monday's report of 686 new COVID cases, three of the five highest Shelby County case totals came in just the past week, with a more than 407-day new case average for the first time since August 2nd and a 72% increase in COVID hospitalizations the past four weeks. But with these kind of numbers rising, uh, things like the Thanksgiving holiday will be extraordinarily important. Dr. Steve Throke held with Baptist Memorial Hospital Monday suggested the upcoming holiday only include immediate family to lower the risk of inadvertent asymptomatic spread to vulnerable age groups. Your cousin, your child, your close relative, your close friend might come to your house on Thanksgiving, look great, feel great, uh, but they're carrying the virus and might be very efficient at transmitting it to your parents who are elderly. Dr. Warren also advised small groups planning to gather for the holiday take advantage beforehand with now available group COVID testing. There are about 300 pods still available and you can test up to 20 people. You'll have your results back the next day. If everyone's negative, then you know you're safe probably to get together for Thanksgiving and, you know, do some reasonable precautions that way. The latest COVID-19 hospitalizations in Shelby County at 361 is just 23 away from a record high set July 31st. There is a 400 bed alternate care facility in downtown Memphis on standby, but at this point there are no plans for it to open. Reporting in Memphis's medical district, Brad Broder's local 24 news.